For those of you who are interested in a more in-depth discussion of this, the book has a good derivation of how Kramer's rule can be derived from this equation right here. We have this equation right here, x star equals a inverse d. Uh, if you look in the book, they actually derive Kramer's rule from this equation. Okay, but I'm not going to go over that. Let me simply give you Kramer's rule. If you have uh, two equations and two unknowns, then Kramer's rule is this. x1 star, the solution value for x1 is just this. It is the determinant of a sub 1 divided by the determinant of a. And let me uh, explain what a sub 1 is. a sub 1, you take your a matrix. Recall that our a matrix is this. Our coefficient matrix is 1, 1, 2, minus 1. Now, a sub 1 is just this matrix. It's the A matrix with the first column replaced with the D vector. Here is the D vector over here. So if you just replace this first column with 2, 1, and then you leave the rest of A the same, 1 minus 1. Because you're replacing the first row, that's why you put that 1 subscript on A. To help you remember. Okay. Um, a sub 2 is just this. A sub 2 is defined to be the A matrix with the second column of A replaced by the D vector. So A sub 2, the first column would just be the same as A, 1, 2, but then the second column we would replace by the, with the D vector. And then Kramer's rule says x1 star is just the ratio of the determinant of a1 to the determinant of a. Now, we've already calculated the uh, determinant of a. We found the determinant of a was equal to what, Lucy? What was the determinant of a in this case? Do you rem recall? Negative 3. It's just minus 1, minus 2. So the determinant of a, let me move this up a bit. Uh, is down here, and that's just a minus 3. We're calculating x1 star here. What is the determinant of a sub 1? What is the determinant of this matrix? Negative 3. By coincidence, it's, it's the same. It's 2 times minus 1, that's minus 2. Minus 1 times 1, 2 minus 1, negative 3. So we have negative 3 over negative 3, x1 star is 1, which is what we found before. Now x2 star is just a similar formula, except it's the determinant of a2 over the determinant of a. So x2 star is just this. We know that the determinant of a, we've already calculated, that's minus 3. That goes in the denominator. What is the determinant of a sub 2? It is 1 minus 4, negative 3. So again, it's minus 3 over minus 3. x2, 1 star is 1, which is comforting because that's the same solution we got using the inverse method. If you don't get the same answer, you should be troubled. That means if you do it both ways and you get different answers, that means you made a mistake.